Hey welcome, to another After Effects tutorial. Let's see what we are going to create today. Open After Effects, start with new project. Create new composition. Firstly, unselect this lock aspect ratio, then set width to 1080, and height to 1920. And set duration to 15 seconds, and hit OK. Now enable proportional grid. Go to layer, and select new shape layer. Long press, and select this ellipse tool. Now, create ellipse shape. Just like that. And align it to center. Now press Ctrl plus D, and duplicate this layer. Let's change its shape color. Also, let's adjust its scale and position. Now select both shapes, and move it somewhat to here. Cool. Now, place time indicator bar on 1 seconds. Now select these layers, and press P, to open position properties, and click on this stopwatch, to create keyframe. Again press S, to open scale properties, and click on this stopwatch. Now press U, it will reveal all keyframes. Now, place this time indicator bar on first frame and move the position of this shape layer. Also resize this to fill completely on screen. Do the same with this shape layer too. Now once you finished this, select all keyframes, and easy ease them. Also go to Graph Editor. Make sure you enable this speed graph. Now select this, and tweak its animation speed by just dragging this bar. Also, move this shape layer one bar a little bit forward in time, so to give this a dynamic animation. Now, import your image, and place it on timeline. Resize your image, to fit properly on this screen. Now place it below all layers. Let's adjust its position a bit. Cool. Now click on shape layer 1, and press Ctrl plus D, and duplicate this layer. Toggle switches, and set its track mat to alpha inverted mat. Click on Shape Layer 1, and press U, to reveal all keyframes. Now click on this image layer, and press P, to open position properties, and move this time indicator aligned to this keyframes of this shape layer. Click on Stopwatch, now move this time indicator here. And move its position upwards. Just like that. Again click on this image layer, and press S, to open scale properties, and click on stopwatch at this point. And now on this point, increase its scale value. Just like that. Now select these keyframes, and easy ease them, go to graph editor, and drag this bar, to adjust the animation speed. Cool. This looks good to me. Now, let's import another image, and place it on this timeline. Resize your image, to fit properly on this screen. Now drag this image layer, and place it below this shape layer. Again click on this shape layer 3, and press Ctrl plus D, and duplicate layer. Now, 
Move this time indicator bar on 2 seconds forward in time. And drag this both layers at this point. Also, set its track mat to alpha inverted mat. Now click on this image layer, and move this time indicator aligned to this keyframes of this shape layer. Click on stopwatch of this scale. Click on image layer, and press P, to open position, and click on stopwatch to create keyframe. Move this time indicator bar to here. Now press U, to open up all keyframes. And move its position upwards. Also increase its scale value. Now select these keyframes, and easy ease them. Go to graph editor, and drag this bar. To adjust its animation speed. Now, click on this image layer, and press U, to open up its keyframes. Now click on the stopwatch of this position, to create keyframe on this point. This keyframe is to hold the animation. Now drag this image position to downwards. Just like that. Let's preview this. Awesome! This animation is looking very smooth. So, this way you can animate more images, just use this same steps as we discussed. Also make sure, you keep gap of at least 2 seconds between every image transition, to make a very smooth animation. Let's preview this. Awesome! Now right click, and create a new text layer. Type your text, select its font, and place it here. You can type any text you want. This animation is for multi-purpose use, it will basically blend with any Instagram stories ideas, like showcasing any product, or can we use to share your food recipes. Once you completed typing this text, go to Effects and Presets, and search for Typewriter. Also, move this time indicator bar, to somewhat here. Now drag this effect on each of these text layers. Now select all text layers and press U, to open up all keyframes, now, select these keyframes, and drag it to make animation fast. Now, select these keyframes, and easy ease them. You are free to play with these keyframes position, it totally depends on your choice, on how you want to reveal your text. Also using this graph editor, adjust its animation speed. Let's preview this. Awesome! Now let's stylize this animation, by placing light leaks. Light leaks is a very amazing to stylize your images or any videos. Here we have a pack of 120 light leaks, all are in MP4 format so it can be used with any video editing software. Download it, link in description. Now let's drag one of these, and place it in timeline. Click on this layer, and press R, to open rotation properties, and set its value to minus 90 degree. Now, drag this and place it below this shape layer. Also, change its composition mode to add. Now, press T, to open opacity, and set its value to 
Let's adjust its opacity to 30%. Let's preview this. Awesome! So, here we have created a very minimal Instagram story animation, inside After Effects. If this tutorial helped you, press the like button, and subscribe for more new contents every week. See you in next tutorial, stay tuned.